hey you thank you so much for stopping by my channel today as always it's saba i don't even know what this video is gonna be but i feel like vlogging so i'm gonna start the vlog i got me a new tripod i also got a another light and another mount for the tripod but as of right now only the tripod is here i also bought new glasses if you can tell i got some rose gold ones these are the exact same glasses that i have but they're just rose gold and i have some black ones i also got this double ceramic it's called a triple barrel waiver from conair i was not going to buy this but i saw it at walmart for a well okay so i was at walmart one day with my mom let me see if i got the screenshot let me set for a lip real quick my gay which way do i want to start i'll turn this one you thought i was using a little tripod no honey i got the bigger tripod so anyway uh, what am i even slouching for this tripod i could go taller <laughs> i want it to be sturdy i don't want you to fall because then i'm gonna be sick so this bear this um johnny john um uh, crimper was on walmart's website for eleven dollars and 28 cents and the only reason why i know that is because when i was at walmart i was scanning stuff in the store to see how much the stuff cost because i didn't feel like going to the little scanning thing i don't even know if they have scanning things anymore oh also i got this ring let me show you before i forget it says four four Four. supposedly 444 four, four isn't a real popular angel number or whatever but i literally see 444 four, four wherever i go all the time it's it's be on like the register and be on the clock it be on the radio it be on the tv i see 444 four, four everywhere and then when i looked it up i liked the supposed meaning so i just got me a little ring to remind myself Woo. like you're on the right path honey like keep going so anyway i was at walmart i was scanning stuff because i wanted to see how much the stuff was without like having to go to the little skinny joints i don't even know if they have them anymore because i feel like they want people to use the app so anyway i saw the waiver on there for 11 dollars 24 so i went to the register because i was just gonna buy it just because like sometimes i'll be wearing my hair in like a little braid out style without having to do braid out work like without having to wet my hair wait for it to dry wait two days blah 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 so i was gonna get it because it was like 11 dollars. why not so I go to the register, they talk about it's not that price. It's only that price if you are buying it on walmart.com and picking it up in store. And I'm like, okay, well, if I bought it on walmart.com right now, how long would it take to get picked up? Like, how long would it take for me to be able to pick it up? And he's talking about two days. That's a lie, number one, because I was on the app either way in the first place. And they said I could pick it up the next day. But I think he was just trying to make me get it then and there. But then in there, if I would have bought it at the register, it would have been twice as much. It probably would have been like $25 or $28. And I wasn't about to pay that, especially if it was online for $11. I was looking up crimpers on Amazon, I feel like, one day. And I saw the exact same crimper. And it was $11.24. Right? So, praise the Lord also that I bought it too. Because now that I'm looking at it, it is out of stock. It is out of stock so i'm glad i bought it when i did even though i really don't need it right now because i'm supposed to be getting my hair done tomorrow and maybe that'll be what this video will be like because i was planning on filming when i wash my hair and stuff anyway so i could just combine this into all one video so yeah i'm supposed to be getting my hair done tomorrow in some box in some knotless braids or whatever so i thought about crimping the braids like if anything at the bottom but i could always just braid them and crimp them like that lord willing my hair will be in these braids for like the next month or so so i really don't have to worry about it i could just focus on my channel and then after that then i could start doing more hair videos and i'll probably use the crimper the point of the matter is i got me a new tripod and i bought me some stuff off of amazon and i just felt like vlogging let me bring it bring you zen bro bring you zen because i'm not all the way up there i am hoping now that i'm looking at this light i thought it wasn't going to be a good idea me buying another light because like i'm more i'm like i already have this light but now that i'm seeing this light right now let me turn around and see if this helps now that i'm seeing this light it's really not that bright and i feel like the light that i bought is brighter i'm facing the door right now so it's a little bit brighter but let me get a trash bag I have been doing really good with my skincare the past couple days. And speaking of seeing a 444 on the register and whatnot, I put in my notice at my job. I know, I know. Girl, if I choose to get the job, can I also choose to quit it? Thank you. Anyway, I put in my notice. 
going to take my job. Today is Friday. I was supposed to be ending on next Wednesday. Today's Friday the 17th. I was supposed to be doing my last day next Wednesday. So yesterday was Thursday and when I was there, she was like, she was making the schedule for next week or whatever. And she was like, oh, first she said I can have my last day be Saturday since that was the end of the pay period, which is tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm off that day anyway. Then she says, oh, Tomorrow's not the last day to pay period, blah, 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 blah. So you could just work your, you could just work into your, you know, to your notice date or whatever. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So then I told y'all I'll give my notice for Wednesday. And then she asked me to work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's no way I was working Christmas and Christmas Eve because it's no holiday pay. Like I don't even care about Christmas and Christmas Eve, but it ain't no holiday pay. It's just the principle of the matter. It should be illegal for y'all to be open on Christmas Thanksgiving, any of these national crappy ass holidays and not give holiday pay. It's just the principle of the matter. I wanna be like right here because the lighting is better. But yeah, maybe I'll do a story time one day. I really don't know. I really don't know if I feel like it because I feel like people will be judging me when I be telling y'all my little jobby job stories because girl, I just be getting these little jobby jobs just to get them, you feel me? And I mastered this job. They wanted to move me up, but they wasn't trying to pay me enough. When I be seeing people who make real money even the owner of the place that i worked he came in one day talking about his new bins and his new rolex like i'm not making enough money to buy a bins and a rolex but i'm making you money because i'm so good at this job but yet you want to pay me pennies okay that's me there nor there i think i told y'all in my workout video my workout video is going up after this though so i'm gonna say it again i'm planning on uploading every day for the month of january i don't give a I don't want to hear none of y'all sh Sorry, bleep, bleep, um, bleep cam, whatever. I don't want to hear nothing from none of y'all because when I upload every day in January, I don't get, like, nobody gonna congratulate me. So I don't want to hear none of y'all negative talk about, oh, you always say you want to upload every day. Are you always, listen, I don't want to hear it. Just pray for me and keep it moving. Thank you. So because I wasn't able to upload every day in December because of this stupid ass job that I was supposed to only be having for four days a week, but ended up being six, <sighs> Lord willing, I will be able to upload every day in January. Vlogguary, bitch. That's it. So anyway, I'm probably just going to make a sausage real quick because, yeah. Right, the light is dying. Where you at, you bitch? The light is dying. The light died. <laughs> See? Let me turn it off. I was going to try to turn it back on, but I forgot it died. The only thing about this tripod is that it's kind of heavy. It's made of metal, which should mean that it's really heavy duty. But that means that it's kind of like heavy. And I thought I was going to use this. That's good. That's a nice wide angle. I thought I was gonna use this tripod for like vlogging outside, like in public, but because it's so heavy, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. And it's way longer than I thought it was gonna be, but this is real nice for a nice wide angle. And I thought, like I told y'all that I was gonna get a new phone to vlog, I mean, to be my camera or whatever, but if I could do this, I really can put it off even longer because I really need to pay off my credit card bill. That's another thing. I got the job to pay off my credit card bill make the cash stuff in videos and make i mean and get a little bit of money for when i want to buy stuff for youtube why is my credit card bill a hundred dollars more than when i started the job you tell me i wasn't making no money i was wasting my time i was spending too much time there and not enough time on what i actually want to do with my life my passion my goal whether i make it on this youtube or not whether youtube is what i'm going to be doing or whatever or not because i don't know how i feel about the internet for real for real i really don't want to be on it to be honest but this is where we at so anyway whether or not all that comes to fruition. The point of the matter is I enjoy making videos and that's what I'm going to do. I'm making me a sausage. I'll probably make me a waffle as well. I'm waiting for, oh, let me get my phone. I'm waiting for my package to arrive from UPS, even though I bought it from Amazon with my new light and my new phone mount. And also I got this little mirror thing for the back of my phone, which I feel like is a really good buy. Um, my friend talking about am I good now because one something that I have is not working and they trying to help me figure out how to work it, but it's like girl, even though it's a boy, but it's like girl, like it ain't working. 
not that I'm fine with it not working because, duh, I want it to work. But it's like, girl, it's not working. Of course I'm not good. It ain't working. What you want me to do? It's not working. I'm just waiting for my stuff to come from Amazon. I'm gonna make me a sausage and a waffle. I'm probably gonna put some salsa on it. I need to go to the bank today. Oh, that's what I was gonna say about the tripod. I'm probably just gonna use this for like at home or when I wanna take pictures and stuff. And then when I go out, if I really wanna vlog out, I'm gonna use a more handheld, more compact tripod. I'm gonna hold off on buying my new phone for my camera for a little minute. But as of right now, I'm just about to eat real quick. I also wanna film like a Sunday reset vlog, but I really need to have a super jam-packed day full of editing. Like today is Friday, I have to wash my hair. I have to edit at least, Lord willing, I get through at least two videos today because I need to get some videos out. I need to replan my December videos since I'm not going to be able to upload all the videos that I wanted to upload. <gasps> Excuse me. I need to reconfigure my schedule. And since I was waking up super early for that job, I figured I could wake up super early for this and be able to edit in the morning. And I'm not too worried. I'm still gonna, whatever videos I post in December, I'm still gonna name it Vlog Simber, whatever. I'm still gonna have Vlog Simber in the title. But clearly, I'm not too worried about posting every single day for the month of December anymore because it didn't work out. But Lord willing, in January, I can get it done and that'll be that. I'm feeling like I'll try to do it like every other month. So since I do it in January, I'm feeling like maybe I'll do it again in March. But, you know, maybe I'll take a couple months off because ideally I would get back to like the flow of December. So it'll be December. So yeah, it'll be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So it'll be February, April, June, August. October and December. August is hard because that's my daughter's birthday month. October is hard because that's my baby daddy, my husband. He ain't my baby daddy. Let me stop because y'all gonna be thinking we not really married. We're married. It's my husband's birthday month, but ideally it would be like every other month I upload daily or whatever just to get in the swing of it and to get my channel back popping or whatever because I have goals for 2022. Like I just want to get it done. Like, if I'm going to do this YouTube thing or whatever, I need to go in, I need to go ham, I need to go for it, and I need to just, get, I just need to do it. There's people out here watching videos, watch mine. The anyway, so yeah, he asked me, am I good? Let me tell him no, and let me know it still ain't working. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. Anyway, I'm going to see y'all a little bit later, probably once I am having to wash my hair. Rant for now is over. I also wanted to tell y'all that my Roku TV is not working. Look at this. Not connected. So I'm probably gonna do some slick stuff and get that squared away. But I wanted to show y'all. Look at this, man. Home's in is working a little bit too much. I wanted to show y'all what I got going on. I be eating weird stuff, so I just wanted to show y'all real quick. Don't mind my turn. So I be eating like super weird crap. This is sauce, sauce, turkey sausage, beef sausage, something like that. Beef sausage, and I'm also about to make, I mean, I'm also about to put some cottage cheese on there because I saw it and now I want some. I really love cottage cheese. I don't know how the world feels about cottage cheese. I feel like it's a thing where either you love it or you hate it. So I'm not gonna put it on top because on my waffle, you see white stuff, but that's cream cheese. <laughs> I just felt the need to put it on there. So I put cream cheese on my waffle as well as the salsa, I mean the sausage. So now I'm getting me a nice big glob of cream cheese. And then, to top it off, I'm gonna put some salsa. I will also do an egg too, but yeah, I really don't feel like it. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. And I feel like haters gonna say, ew, that's nasty. But it's like, if you ain't got no haters, bro, you really ain't popping. So I got my cottage cheese, sausage, 
and salsa mix over here. And then I have my salsa cream cheese waffle right here. All right, lighting is a bit off, but my light didn't come yet, and I don't feel like charging the one that died. So let me tell y'all how this tastes. Salsa, cottage cheese. Wait, let me make sure. Okay, I had to make sure this was a video and not slow-mo. Okay, the salsa, cottage cheese, and sausage combo is top tier. I'm not one of those people who be like, ew, I want my food to touch. My food could touch, I'll mix all my food together. I really don't care. <laughs> Waffle A1. My husband is the type of person that don't want his food to touch, but I'm literally the complete opposite. Like, I remember when my mom and us used to live with my grandparents and my grandma would cook. And let's say she made mashed potatoes, string beans, and meatballs, let's just say. Girl, I'm mixing all of it together. <laughs> testing to see if I am in frame. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, so I got this off of Amazon. I probably should have showed it to you before I ripped the packaging open and put it on my phone case for this camera, but I can show it to you in the mirror real quick. It's really small. And I actually got this idea because Ulanzi has a mirror like this. It basically looks like that. So I can flip the camera around like this and see myself and like kind of know that I'm in frame. So that might be a good alternative for me or anybody to use instead of like getting a camera. I probably might do a video, let me turn it around. So I might do a video showing you guys the stuff that I have for my YouTube channel because although I've been doing it since 2018, so for about three years, I still feel like kind of a beginner because I don't know all the stuff really to get, you know, especially within my budget. So I was thinking about doing like a beginner youtube uh, equipment type of thing because it really is a struggle like knowing exactly how much stuff to get some people have multiple cameras multiple lenses all type of stuff so it's really you know it's really a learning curve so so i'm probably gonna do a video on that so stay tuned so yeah okay i'm actually using my iphone 11 right now because i am too hyped to which button is i don't know which button it is i'm too hyped to go get my other phone because my light just came and my holder for the tripod just came so i have an all white setup and this light is so much brighter than the other light that i have okay this is the dimmest this is off this is the dimmest This is like blinding. It's so bright. It's like ring light. Okay, I don't want to break it. Right. Like the second one. That's so bright. This is way brighter than my other light. And it also shows me how much it is charged. Let me show it to you guys. All right, so this is the holder that came with the tripod. You can either put it on like this, so I guess the phone would be mounted like that. I guess if you wanted to put like a down shot like this, and then you could also mount it like this. And this thing, the tripod, you can also turn it so it's not that big of a deal because I also have a mount that has like a two part so like you can twist it up here instead of having to twist it like right there but it's all white it's metal and then the this is the thing that the phone clip came in both of these things are from Ulanzi and I also was about to get the Ulanzi tripod but this one was 50 inches so that's why I got this this is the white holder and I also got the white light and it has a mount at the top for like, oh, I need to clean my cabinet. But it has a mount at the top and also a mount on the left and a mount on the right. It is 2000 milliamps. I was gonna get one that was $10 cheaper, but I wanted the white one, so yeah. So it has the charger thing right here, a back button, a play button. I guess this is to check the battery life. I don't know. And this is the off slash on. So if you turn it on, this is where it is at. 
and then you could press the play button to move it up. You could press this down button to put it down, and then this is to check the battery life. So that's my current setup. I don't know, like I said, if I'm gonna use this tripod when I go out, but let me show y'all in the bathroom how big the tripod is. This light is so bright, I need to turn it down. Okay, that's better. It's like really big. So I don't know how comfortable I would feel like holding this while I'm out, just like, oh hey, you know, feeling myself. How the frick do you work this thing? I don't wanna break it, okay. This is the last clip that I have from this day. I guess me and my mom were going somewhere because this is my mom's car. But either way, that's going to be the end of today's video. Don't forget to do your good the other day and like this video. And if you're so inclined, you can also subscribe for extra cool points, extra blessings, extra kudos. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.